Thanks for that. And a lot of it comes down to this question, and it's a hard one. Do we know the difference between a lover and a prostitute? This is going to make a lot of folks angry, but this needs to be said. There's a saying that gets tossed around about church history by a dude named Sam Pasco. And for the most part, I agree with it. Christianity started in Palestine as a fellowship. It moved to Greece and became a philosophy. It moved to Italy and became an institution. It moved to Europe and became a culture. And it came to America and became a business. Super simplistic, I know, and I'd argue the business part started way before America, but it is in the U.S. that it was perfected with televangelism, prosperity gospel, and stuff like that. Now, before going further, it's important to draw a line. Christianity and Christ are not the same thing. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's Hebrews 13, 8. Christianity is in the religion derived from Jesus Christ. Well, that changes all the time. And what is the church? It's not a building, but it's a collection of believers, a body of called out ones, otherwise called the bride. And what happens when a body is a business? Well, isn't that the definition of a prostitute? This is a big deal, folks. And at the root of this is how most Americans come to Christ and how we in America peddle that message to the world, merchandising it through our missionaries and church plants. Most of us come to Jesus because of what we're told we'll get, blessings in this life and heaven after we die. And we pitch that to others to get them to come to the faith so we can check our spreadsheets and evangelism growth charts because we're taught that this is expanding the kingdom of God. But what's the fruit of that? Well, if this is a marriage and Jesus is our husband, then we marry Jesus for his money, and we're just trying to get written into the will so we can get ours. We don't really want to take the time to get to know our husband. Basically, we're just gold diggers. Harsh, I know, but let's hold up a mirror. It's why 15.5 million people come to the faith every year, but 11.7 million leave, resulting in a net gain of 3.8 million followers a year. And in first world countries, that percentage is even worse. Are you telling me that the good news is so good that less than 25% of people that hear it hold to it? Hmm, maybe they never really received the real good news. Maybe the root of all of this is how we come to him. Because if you're motivated to get into a relationship with Jesus because of what you get instead of who he is, or because you're just scared of hell's flames, your motivations are based on what you're getting instead of love. Can it become love? Sure. But tragically, that's rare. Because in this kind of relationship, the minute you feel like God isn't paying you, you bounce. Just like a prostitute. A prostitute pretends to love as long as they're being paid. But a lover does what a lover does because a lover loves, no matter what. Are we true followers of God? Are we true lovers of God? Or are we prostitutes? What would happen if the blessing stopped? What if you never received anything else from him? What if you were standing in an arena facing down lions? What if you were facing the barrel of an AK-47 or torches while bound to a stake? On average, 13 Christians are killed every day for their faith. 12 church buildings are attacked. 12 are unjustly arrested, detained, or imprisoned, and five people a day are abducted for faith-related reasons. What if that was you? Would you still proclaim love for Jesus, that he is good, that he intends to prosper you? Maybe his definition of prosper is different than our mere human understanding. Do you really love without any conditions, or do you require payment and require getting yours? Please understand, I fully believe in the blessings of God, my life has borne his blessings out time and time again. How to get outside of ourselves and look at our own motivations in the light. God desires you, but we've got to realize that he is the blessing, not what we get. Let's stop being prostitutes. Let's be lovers and watch the world change. Comments, complaints, ideas, leave them. Love to read them. Click the pin videos for more.